today I'm going to show you how to make a mitre mortise and tenon joint. So uh, here it is the mitre mortise and tenon. So how it uh, work? How you can make this? Uh, uh, so I'm gonna show you everything. So when I was student, uh, I have a very good uh, mathematics teacher in India who make uh, the, uh, all the formula of mathematics very fun. So. It was really very nice to learn uh, all this mathematics formulation. So uh, when I was uh, uh, designing this mortise and tenon joint, uh, so then uh, uh, the one formula which is called Pythagorean theorem, it came to rescue me. So it's really very interesting formula in this uh, mitre mortise and tenon joint. I'm sure you're gonna like it. So let's start. Okay, so we need this kind of a one uh, uh, mitre scale and this one is the straight 90 degree angle scale. So what we have to do, just uh, here it is the line of uh, my the table center which is determined the mechanism center. So bring this uh, line to here and then this shoulder to here and then just simply lock it. And then make one mark line here. So this uh, mark line will determine uh, of your uh, mitre uh, center so next thing what we have to do bring this and then we have to bring our uh, uh, this root of it exactly to this uh, the place here like this way and then lock so now this is uh, here until here so Okay, next step is uh, we bring uh, this scale to here and then uh, we're gonna see uh, what is the, okay, this is a uh, uh, 60, uh, 59 mm, so it should be 29.5, so I'm going to bring it uh, from this line to until here, it should be, okay, so then simply lock it. And then we can bring uh, this here but then how we know how much we can maximum length uh, can have for the tenon so for here uh, our formula Pythagorean uh, theorem gonna rescue us so uh, I'm gonna explain you about it hi so here's a Pythagorean formulation so the a square plus b square equal to c square so since our work piece width is 59, 59 and we are going to make a 45 degrees so it should be again 59. So what is this? It's going to be 34, 81 plus again 34, 81. So it's, uh, so 69 62 so then we are going to make so it should be 80 83 83.4 so uh, since uh, our uh, uh, the tenon is gonna be maxi uh, tenon's width is uh, 34 mm, so 83.4 minus 34. So oh, so is a uh, 49.43. So and then divided by 2 so is uh, around 24.7 so this is this should be come over uh, the shoulder so like uh, this way so this uh, length uh, should be 24 Point seven, and this should be also 24.7 and this length also should be 24.7 so let's start 
okay so first we need to make the make sure our tenon gonna come in the center so for it just bring it like this way here lock it and then we are going to come this way less and going to fit a here our bring it like this way here and then make sure your cutter on the line since uh, I'm not going to make uh, my tenon uh, to come outside so I'm going to make my tenon the hidden so a uh, 4 liter so I'm not going to make this one 24.7 mm the length uh, so I'm going to make it uh, 21 mm so it would be hidden inside the mortise So our tenon is ready. So now to make the mortise. So let's go for the mortise part. So we are ready for the mortise part. For the mortise part, bring uh, your cutter to be here exactly uh, where uh, we used to put on the tenons. <coughs> like this way. And simply lock it and then since we want to make our centered uh, tenon to be to, uh, 20 uh, 2 mm because we want to give uh, just 1 mm a shoulder so bring here like this way okay so we are ready so change this here and then put it inside like this way and then The motor is, is ready. So let's see how it fit. You can see it's perfectly fit. Exact 45 degree. And uh, you one thing you will notice here also exact. There's no any like a little bit gap here also and exactly flush trim from here also and from here also. And you can see it's beautifully routed. Hope you like uh, my this idea. Have a nice time, and uh, I will try to make uh, another video with another idea. Thank.